Hey everybody, April here and I'm back with another video. So as you can see, I'm all natural. Um, if you watched my last video, I know you're probably wondering why in the heck did I big chop so soon. Um, a lot of you may know that I did plan on transitioning for a full two years, but that didn't last, obviously. Um, so basically, what made me big chop? Um, I was just ready. I was just ready to big chop. It, I was just ready. Like it's, it's just really hard to explain, but I was ready to big chop. Um, I wanted to transition, you know, long term, just because, you know, at the time I really didn't want to cut off my hair. But deep down inside, I really wanted to experience a teeny weeny afro um, smaller than this. I wanted the teeny weeny weeny afro, but what was holding me back, honestly, was just insecurity. I was thinking about what other people, you know, might think if other people may not like my hair, what would they think if I would look like a boy, if my forehead's too big, you know, for a TWA, it was just a whole bunch of stuff that was holding me back from what I really wanted. So I got over that phase, <laughs> you know, I got over that phase and I realized that it's not about what other people think or what other people want. It's about me, what I want, what April wants to do with her hair. It's all about me. So I got over that and I got the courage to big chop. It's not that I got the courage, it's I wanted to do it. So it's not like I woke up Friday morning and was like, oh, today is the day. I am big chopping today. It wasn't even on my mind whatsoever. What happened was, um, Later that night, I was washing and deep conditioning my hair. I was preparing my hair for a mini chop. Um, I was going to have my mother um, cut my hair between neck length and shoulder length, somewhere in between there. And that was that. I was going to mini chop and continue with my transition. But that didn't happen. Um, after I finished washing my hair and rinsed out the conditioner, I was just in the mirror. Like I do all the time, every time I wash my hair. I was just like like in awe over my new growth and especially since I had cut that little back piece in the back that was all natural I was just in the mirror just playing with it and just like oh my gosh I can't wait to be natural blah 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 and I was just like I want to cut it I want to cut it now I don't want to wait I'm tired of transitioning well actually I wasn't even tired of transitioning you know my transition was a breeze you know I was learning how to you know deal with the two textures it, it wasn't it wasn't hard for me at all so I can't even say I was tired of transitioning I just really wanted to be natural so I went in the kitchen and I told my aunt I was like I think I'm ready to cut my hair and she was like are you serious and I'm like yeah I want to cut my hair she was like well go for it it's just hair it's gonna grow back and I'm like you are so right it's just hair and it's gonna grow back. So I went back to the bathroom, I got my camera and my tripod because of course I wasn't going to big shot without showing y'all so I just started cutting and I knew that I was really ready when I got the scissors and I started you know, spraying my hair with water and I wasn't even hesitant on you know, cutting my hair like it wasn't even a second thought like I was, I was just ready like I wasn't scared I was I was just ready to big chop and to experience the whole natural hair, all of that. So basically, that's what it was. Um, like I said, I didn't wake up Friday morning and was like, oh, today's the day I'm big chopping. It just happened. I was doing my hair and I just wanted to chop it off. So that's that. Um, I ended my transitioning journey, you know, short. You know, I didn't, I wasn't expecting to big chop this early. Also, I did want to mention that, um, I know in my last video, <laughs> I mentioned that I was gonna, uh, make a whole bunch of videos for transitioning hair and stuff like that. And I really did have a lot of videos in mind as far as, you know, the transitioning hairstyles that I was doing, the protective styles. And I wanted to show all of you, you know, you know the styles that I was doing because I do have a lot of followers that are transitioning but unfortunately I can't make those videos anymore because I'm not transitioning I don't have the length to show you all but you know of course there's a whole bunch of different 
YouTube videos that y'all can check out. But if you are interested in my natural hair journey, keep on watching because I'm so excited. I'm really excited about this journey. I cannot wait to see, you know, what my hair looks like a year from now. I'm just uber uber excited you know, i went out and bought some new products i re-upped on my oils like i am so serious like i'm happy i cannot wait to embark on this journey and i'm gonna bring you all along with me you can follow me on instagram if you like because i update that way before i update my youtube channel um twitter also at a breezy instagram at a breezy if you would like to follow me on those social networks and until my next video i'll see y'all later bye